There you are. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. Telling you, you you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and Cassandra, thank the gods. Phoebe found you in time. About grapes. I can still hear you. I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's beside the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine? I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. <laughs> it's that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right. Then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Uh, of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sami. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sami, my friend. Who's the merchant? Luris. You know Luris. He's very nice. Luris? Again? Why do you keep lending him money? He's a loyal friend. I don't want his family to starve. You're a good friend, but you're bad with money. Where can I find the race? In a shop in Sami overlooking the docks. You know this, Cassandra. Will he be there? You mistake me for the Pythia. I couldn't possibly know. How do you want to handle this one? Not like you handled that olive oil business. That was... Uh, that was too much. <sighs> I got the money. And now we'll never get any more from him. If you kill them all, nobody benefits. Threatening them and maybe more. Breaking things, certainly. Steal the money if you have to, but don't rob me of my customers. Unless you can't avoid it. These things happen. He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after, there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. made my choice. Which one will it be? The one on the left. Ah, uh, a, a fine choice. But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... But I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos. Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, Efterpi. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. phoebe has been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. 
Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Zuris, Cassandra. I'll sneak up on the Malakis. Let me go! Shut it! Or I'll tighten those ropes! She'll make good ransom Drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. Grass will keep me hidden. I can't let the rest of those Malakis get away. Who did that? Looks like it was nothing. Marcos is going to be next. Time to get Phoebe out of here. Cassandra, I'm here. Untie me. Are you all right? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now since... Since my parents died? I'm okay. I've got you and you've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? <coughs> You'll have to be stronger than that. Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready your stuff. Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Uh. Approach me. Enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> what are we eating tonight? Tonight we are having baby Alexios. <laughs> and what a feast he will be. No, not him. 
take me instead. I'm tasty. Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Here. Lay him in his bed. Yes, pater. Cassandra. You are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. Right. You worry too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be all right if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. what they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos the mercenary? Am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here! I lost the stone fist. That's just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that. Come on. Ella. Sami, the race will be at his shop. Cassandra, good to see you. Hello, Luris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself, if he wants his money. Huh? Ah, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. Double? That's robbery. That's what I told Marcos. 
You know him, he's extreme. If you pay him, this will all be over with. You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to... to... to a mercenary or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. You're right about that. Forget the Drachme. Marcos and I need to have a talk. You're letting me go? Then at least take this sword. Nothing special, but it's better than that Rastim one you've got. With the Cyclops involved, I'll need it. You better set Marcos straight or you're both dead. Job to do, Cassandra. You're running out of time until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the drachmi. Good, or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. Ah, Cassandra, I can tell from the smile on your face, Duris has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back, can't we? I'm sure it's possible. You've made an idiotic promise, Marcos. One we can't keep. I thought you were invincible. Maybe I am, but you're not. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand. Cassandra! <laughs> Alexios! Don't see fishes like you every day, huh? <laughs> oh! Ha! You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Huh? Think about it. Wait! <laughs> Kefalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. And look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets to a Mistios with a Havel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. 
I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you! How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Skulking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can't. Why, I was just filling my friend Cassandra in on the details. She already has a plan to deal with these bandits. You know me. Always prepared. What did I tell you? She will leave no stone unturned. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits. Today! A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Cassandra, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. These balls will make me rich as Chrysos. They're that good, are they? War's brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. Everybody benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small-time shit. You'd make a fortune in this war. Plus, I hear you're a secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Hand it over. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies! Fair is fair. Fair is fair. I'll fix you. Finally! Marcos sure is lucky he's got you as his scapegoat. I'll take care of the bandits. Make sure that you do. And be quick about it. I'll deal. Ha! All right. I did something for you. Now you do something for me. Get my wood. Here's where the ambush happened. I should look around. <laughs> the cart was emptied, then left behind. The thief can't have gotten far with that much cargo. Footprints. A group left this area, headed west. Ah! 
I did something for you, now you do something for me. Get my wood! Look around. The cart was emptied, then left behind. The thief can't have gotten far with that much cargo. Well, that's a lot of footprints. A group left this area, headed west. Be the work of bandits. Must be the bandit camp I'm looking for. I need to sneak up on them. Take some lumber back as proof. That old bag won't just take my word for it.
look, it's Marcus's mighty champion. <laughs> Don't tell me you actually did what I asked. I tracked the bandits and sent them to Addis. Your wood should arrive in town soon. And you expect me to believe the word of a mercenary? I didn't expect you to believe me, so I brought this. Here's your proof. A sample of the special wood you want so badly. These bows you're making had better be worthy of Apollo for all the trouble I've gone to. By the gods! You sure you work with Marcos? He's never once delivered on a promise. Incredible. I might work with him, but we're nothing alike. I'm true to my word. Then take your pay. Give none to Marcos.